Hi, welcome to Blockhead U. Thank you so much for joining us. This is a replay, but we actually do this every week. We do this every Wednesday live starting at 9 Eastern. That's 8 Central and 6 Pacific. So if you would like, please come back and watch us live and you can hang out in the chat. Uh, right now, I'm watching people roll into the chat. Hello, everyone. Long time no see. Uh, it's been a while since I've done this. Uh, maybe about like, what, what did we say, three weeks? Uh, so let's see if I remember. I'm on the lookout for my co-host, Ashley. Uh, as usual, Ashley, if you're here, please uh, send me a request. Uh, yes, I see you. Um, please, everyone, introduce yourself in the chat. Let us know your name and where you are joining us from. Uh, hi, my name is Melanie, and I am in Toronto, Canada. All right. I'm going to grab my co-host, Ashley. And, um, okay, I'm trying to think what... ...your request. And <laughs> it's not working. So I'm going to send you a request on my own. Oh, wait, it says you're here. <gasps> Hi. Hi. I'm doing well. Whoa, How are my you? My volume is very low. Okay, there we go. There we go. Oh. Were you able to hear me okay? <laughs> I, you can I hear me okay? Fine. All right. Yeah. Okay. Uh, how's things? It's been a while since You're the two excited. of us have done this. Three yeah. weeks, did you, you just yeah. said that, right? But here we are, and, and we also have many more weeks to get together. Yeah, we have a lot to, to cover. There's a lot and on the horizon for us with blockheads, <laughs> and a lot to cover. And you know what? Yes, I forgot for to mention sure. at the beginning, for anybody who's new here, uh, I'm Melanie, this is Ashley, we're Blockhead U, and uh, we do this every week, every Wednesday at 9 p.m., Eastern, 8 Central, 6 Pacific, and we talk to different blockheads because we're all New Kids on the Block fans. So welcome. Thank you for joining us. Um, and okay, so last week you did this all on your own because I was getting my hair did. <laughs> Priorities, right? I mean, that was the best. You coming in at the end in the, the hairdresser's chair, like getting done, was very unexpected and very, resist. very, very funny. But like you I said what? last week, well, I, I like that's right. we're both very busy, successful women who sometimes we have things Honestly, come up. We just cannot be here every Wednesday. Right, but and you know what? We're I here for. I would have joined a little bit earlier, but uh, there were still other people in the salon. The music was going, and at that point, like it was so late. It was ten p.m. here. Like so long. Like I have. I guess I have some stubborn black roots uh and i had some like red in my hair as well too <laughs> that uh needed to be dealt with but um yeah eventually people everybody left and it was just me and leslie and the music had been turned off and i was like you know she she's a blockhead too so we just thought let's tune into blockhead you and uh so we got the we got the end of uh helena's interview and then i went back and i watched uh charlene's um yeah but here we are in a what two weeks before BlockCon, I think two weeks and a couple of days. Basically. Yeah, two weeks and a couple of days, and we will all oh! be together yes. once again. You and I actually get to meet in person. I know, right? <laughs> but we still have to talk about some ideas yes. about that. Uh, we'll do that we'll off offline. Social, we'll do that so offline. We have some, uh, okay. yeah, <laughs> some strategizing to do. Um, but okay, typically at the at various points of our lives, we do like a little recap of what's been going on in New Kids World. Did you get to do like a little recap last week? Yes, we did. We talked about um, that Joe had just performed in Vancouver. Um, that uh, black, and then he yeah. went and he performed yeah. in Seattle, um, right? We talked Yes, and we also talked about how he had just been oh, on the yeah. trips with Lance Bass, a two-part. Yep. So we talked about that, um, and then just kind of our you know general hopes and dreams for the future of yeah. Blockhead well, Nation. At that point, the Blockhead like, Joe would have announced his London dates, right? Some more international shows. Yes. So I think he's performing so. twice yeah. in London. Is that correct? Yeah. Just so. So exciting. I keep thinking that I'll 
have to just go to one show. And that's probably not what I'm oh, going in to, but it'd be amazing. Oh, oh yeah. I just I, any of them, but that one was one where I was like, I can maybe make Seattle happen. I don't think I can make yeah. London, yeah. although I'd love to. Yeah. Dream, yeah. dream trip. Uh, and what else? Is there anything, anything else that I'm not remembering? <laughs> Other than, okay, I do think that, okay, yeah. for people who are going to BlockCon, I believe that tonight is your last time, uh, your last opportunity to register. Right. Yes. And I think also the last to enter your uh um, Oh, shit. Okay, I have to do that. I haven't submitted a poster. I mean, a picture. Awesome. Gotta do that. Before 11.59 p.m. in who knows what time zone. <laughs> Take a wild guess. We'll see how you, if you get <laughs> offline. Dude, I have, to, I have to get up really early in the morning. So <laughs> we're going to keep this. We're going to keep this tight. We're going to keep it right. And uh, yeah, should we just get started? All right. So yeah. entertain people while I find our first guest. Yes. So, so number one, I'm going to say, uh, make sure that you follow Melanie and this account at Gacky Girls for myself, because we have a lot of people we've been talking to about coming to join us, and we've got some really cool stories to share. So we want to make wow. sure you guys all hear those stories as well. And then secondly, and here, here we are, up in the top, little uh, arrow down, click on that. Anyone who joins us at any time, you can make sure and follow them as well for their time and their stories, and also, because generally they're going to be awesome yes. people you'll want to kind yes. of follow along so here's our first guest hi welcome hi <laughs> can you um introduce yourselves let introduce yourself i mean can you let everybody know your name uh and from where you're joining elisa gomez and i'm from Orosi, california california all right and i think you were in uh the chat last week right yeah. and you had some like pretty awesome pretty awesome news which i think we're going to get to a little bit later Yes. Okay. So one of the uh, reasons that people might recognize you is you do a lot of things on social media regarding New Kids on the Block. So what inspires you to create content around being a New Kids um, fan? Spreading the love. Spreading love and positivity. That's the most thing <laughs> I like to do. Yeah. Yeah. We could use yeah. a lot of that. <laughs> <laughs> so What's your favorite yeah. part about being a blockhead then? Is it the spreading love and positivity? Yeah. 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 Okay. What's your second favorite part about being a blockhead? <laughs> <laughs> um, like other friends? Yeah. 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 Okay. What about the new kids? Do you, <laughs> the five guys? Yes. The five yeah, guys. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Okay. It also yes. seems you've made a lot of friends yes. by being a new kids. And that's always is yeah. kind of the best part for all of us, isn't it? Is making the, the friendships that last a lifetime. Yeah. Okay, so so we kind of alluded to it, but recently you, you got some very exciting news. What can you share with us about I what won your the news price is? bundle last week and I was still like overwhelmed by it. Can you recap in case anybody who's watching doesn't know what the prize bundle was? Can you it tell us what mega, that includes? It was the, the mega prize bundle was the the mixtape, the block con and the VIP and the cruise. Okay. And then I got the food and the merch pack. So yeah. we have we have to let we have to let this yeah. take, we have to let this sink <laughs> in. You won block con tickets. Okay. Cruise. on the cruise plus you were also given um uh some money yeah. to help get you to the block con and yeah. to the cruise that's yeah. amazing yeah. congratulations yes. thank you congratulations what 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 did it feel like when you got the like, notification like that you had won all of that i couldn't believe it No. And you've no. never been on a cruise, correct? Okay. So first first time cruiser. Yeah. And obviously none of us have been to BlockCon, so <laughs> we don't know what like, that's gonna be a complete surprise. But one of the things they asked about us, uh, or asked us to do to be entered in for that contest 
was to make a video. So what inspired your New Kids on the Block Day video? Um, they're like music and they, they're, they're love and stuff. Yeah. It just yeah. inspired you to want to share that, yeah. what they meant. Yeah. You know? That's wonderful. So, we so can all what, relate. Okay, so I guess the, the first part of your prize will be, you'll be experiencing in two and a half weeks block con, right? Yes. Okay. okay. And actually, you're also going to be getting a bunch of merch too, yes. right? Yes. Oh, okay. Have you received any of that yet? Has no, you... not yet. Okay. Hey. Do you know what you're getting? Did you get to like sometimes, request or is that going to be surprise? Sometimes this week, hopefully. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Hopefully it's like express ship to you. So you don't yeah. have to wait too much longer. Yeah. Okay. So your next, your, you can get, all sorry. You have a lot of planning to do. Yeah. You have to get your, your prom outfit together. And of course, you know, we don't have, nobody has to go all out for your prom <laughs> outfit, but you have some planning to do, right? Some prep yeah. work. Yeah. No pressure. No pressure. <laughs> okay. So with uh, your first prize uh, coming up in a couple of weeks, block on, what are you most looking forward to at block on? Um, meeting the guys for the first time. Right. Yes. Cause you get yes. a meet and greet with yeah. them. Oh my gosh. Have you, um, like, what are you going to do about your photo group? Have you tried to find one? Or are you just going to kind of go and wing it? This wing it? Yeah. <laughs> Love it. Love yeah. it. Yeah. yeah. Very exciting. Uh, like, have you started thinking about, you know, sometimes when people are preparing for meet and greets, they start to think about what they want to say to each of the new kids. Have you started thinking about that? Or again, are you yeah. just going to wing it? Kind, yeah. of, kind of, sort of. Okay. Okay. I think if any of us who have met them can give you advice, it's probably that you can plan, but what comes out of your mouth is probably going to be completely different than what you thought of and just have a great time and enjoy the fact yeah. that you get to meet them for the first time. Uh, so, uh, Megs is asking, is your prize so, for, for you or do you get to bring a guest? I'm bringing a guest. Oh, I'm bringing, cool. I'm bringing my niece. Oh, with me. that's great. Yeah. Oh, oh wait! Yeah, is this your niece? Who's I, have you taken I'm your niece? Taking my niece with me. She's graduating college and stuff like that. I was just she's about doing, to ask. So. I, I remember. Yeah. I think I saw your post that yeah, you have a niece. Yeah. That's a pretty amazing graduation gift. Congratulations yeah. to her too. Yeah. Yes. How amazing to get to share that with someone you love, and also can. How do you feel like, about she, being like, able to join no you? No way, like, I can't believe it. This is happening. <laughs> yeah. Hmm. So she's pretty excited. It's she's pretty feeling excited to be able to. I love it. That's so wonderful. So knowing you have a lot of adventures yeah. coming up involving new kids on the block, what are what event are you most excited about? The cruise or the Or the hurts or the $1,500? <laughs> Both. <laughs> <laughs> both like, i guess they're, they're the really cruise. like they're apples and oranges even though like you know they're calling the con like mm -hmm. the cruise on land but yeah still and we, we've never we haven't done it before nobody's done it before so we don't know what to expect but it's two different two different experiences for sure yeah you'll have to join us uh in the future when we talk about getting ready for the cruise since you've never been on one and i'm sure like all of us you probably have a lot of questions yeah. about what that experience is like yeah that's great well we really appreciate being here tonight and congratulations obviously this is a huge deal and we're all so excited for you um so again i'm just gonna remind everyone if you look at the little arrow up on top you can follow elise and you can see all the fun she's about to have as part of a new kids on the block experience. Alisa, thank you so thank much for joining us. No. Do you have anything else you wanted to share no. before we go? <laughs> thank you for inviting me. Thank you. You're welcome. It was great to chat with you. You're welcome. Thank you. Thank you. I'll, I'll take you down. Okay? okay. You don't have to worry about it. Okay. Take care. Bye. Thank you. Oh, I, actually, do I even remember how to do this? There we go. <laughs> I was like, what? Forget how to work this. I know. <laughs> how exciting her i'm so i'm so excited it's you know i think you and i both have the same conversation that wouldn't it be great for someone to win this who never had a chance to do these things and you know have their first opportunity have to be a gift for 
from. Not a bad from kids on the block. <laughs> it's kind of crazy. Um, yeah, and I think that That's she found awful. out like by DM. I mean, of course, how else would you find out? It was a social media contest. But I wonder if she she was I, like I know if I were to get that, I would be like, yeah, right. You know, it'd be like a little bit hard to believe at first, but oh, it's true. It's, it's true. For sure. For sure. Very, very, very cool. And I think um, we haven't had a chance to connect to the other winner yet, but um, congrats to both yeah. of them because there were two winners. Um, it'll be, it'll and we look forward to awesome seeing you both uh, at BlockCon and on the cruise. BlockCon in a couple weeks. Okay, I'm going to find we'll our next two guests. Okay, so this is the point where you guys, if you're watching this and you can share the live, you'll want to do that because this next story is pretty incredible and one that I'm very excited to hear about just like every of uh, one of our lives as you're watching you can share actually in uh the little arrow in the corner you can share the live with all of your followers wait because oh god I'm on the I'm on the, this is <laughs> honestly my front I, camera how do I change it to my back camera wait oh there it is okay there we go hi hi <laughs> hello and I sent the invite to there we go there's we, Melissa hi Honestly, Ashley, I have been dying to hear about this adventure. I've, he I've heard rumblings, especially around like anniversaries. Yeah. I see people posting and I was like, I need to know more about this. So I'm like rolling up my sleeves. I I'm ready to dive in. <laughs> I'm not ready. <laughs> um, okay. Take, I, I might take notes as well. So, um, Welcome to It was one of those once in a lifetime. I'm like, did Donnie Wahlberg say he's doing a party bus? Where do I buy a ticket? Bye, 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 bye. <laughs> that's that's how that works. And actually, before we get started, <laughs> Ashley, I got a message from Bar from Barbie, the blonde. And guess where she was? She was like, Melanie, I'm yes. running late. She was at the salon getting her roots her her roots. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> so I just got back and I just put on a little bit of makeup and that's why I was running outside. <laughs> you look great. You look great. I, I thought we should do an episode before BlackCon of like, how is, what is everyone doing to get prepared? Your roots done, your Botox, your teeth whitening. Like we all have a list of stuff to do. So it's got to look Melissa's, look Melissa's arranging her, her, her bangs. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. You know what? Let's um, have each one of you please introduce yourself and let us know from where you are joining. Please. Bobby, you go first. Okay, my name is Barbie. I am actually from Miami originally, but now I am living in Los Angeles, hence why it's still daylight. And I'm sitting outside because it's fabulous weather. Uh, jealous. I know. <laughs> <laughs> so bad. And Melissa, I'm from Boston, born and raised. You can't yeah, is it the, the, the accent? Wait, wait, I want Melissa way. to say my name. Go, go say it again. Bobby. <laughs> I know at first when you said it, I was like, is her name Bobby? And I've been calling her Bobby. Because <laughs> she's Bostonian. Like, yeah, yeah. Hardcore. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Love it. Okay, so some backstory. What's um, uh, each of your uh, Blockhead origin stories? Like, how and when? Why did you become a fan? Barbie? <laughs> Why? Okay. Because they were adorable. So it's a funny story. I was flipping through channels and they were on like the Labor Day telethon oh, and like, I flipped past it and then, and then I flipped back and I was like, ooh, I like that one in the middle. That was Donnie Wahlberg. Wow. ODG. Original Donnie girl. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Love him since, since that moment. Whenever that was in 1987, I don't even know when that was, but whatever that was. Then I saw them in concert at Six Flags with Tiffany, so mm -hmm. in 1988, I think. So Is that when I've they were opening for Tiffany, or Tiffany was opening for them? They, they had flipped already. Okay, got it. Mm -hmm. and, and Melissa, what about you? Um, well, uh, they grew up like 10 minutes from me. Like yeah. 10 yeah. Mm -hmm. Pretty big around here. Um, yeah. So I kind of knew about them but just became a fan as everybody else did was like, as they blew up and just, you know, and it was like, that's pretty cool that they're like, literally like minutes from, from where I live. And even Jordan lives two towns over from me right now. And I see him at Target, like, it's just random. <laughs> oh my God. Is he at the Starbucks inside yeah. the Target? Yeah. <laughs> With like a coffee about this thing. Yeah. yeah. Okay, well, <laughs> okay. So Melissa in, oh, 
2009, yeah. the two of you, along with like 40 something other blockheads, plus Donnie, mm -hmm. went mm -hmm. on a road trip from Boston to Montreal. I need to know all about this, <laughs> starting with how did this happen? Why did this happen? So mm -hmm. Donnie was filming uh, The Zookeeper, like okay. right in Boston, like, like two exits from my work. And a lot of us would go hang out on set you know, in the trailer, like every day or, you know, a couple times a week, whatever. And he had just done the, um, I got it song mm -hmm. and doing a couple uh -huh. of, you know, like little events or whatever. And a friend of mine, he's like, Oh, come to Montreal. She's like, well, if you give me a ride, I'll go. And then it turned into the bus. <laughs> <laughs> so, okay. So, so how, how did you even, was it was it hard to pitch to him? You were like, yeah. So we're gonna load up a bus with a bunch yep. of blockheads and travel out. Oh, like she said, oh, just you know, get me a ride. And then just things started. People started talking and figuring things out, and it turned into a potty bus. Was it hard to get him on it though? You know, like on board. No, <laughs> no. <laughs> he loved it. He's having a blast. So it was uh, forty-seven girls. Yeah. John. Flossy. Johnny. Wow. Yep. Yeah. Um, and there was one other guy. And like that was Flossy. 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 Yeah. yeah, Flossy. And but there was somebody else too. I can't think of who. Um, but yeah, it was like a really like rainy day Jeff, in Boston. Jeff, yeah. Jeff yeah. the the DJ. Yeah. Jeff. I couldn't think of picture him from the video. Right. Mm -hmm. Um but yeah, it just turned into a whole, you know, day and a half basically with him Yeah. Almost. It was actually not just to Montreal, and but he rode on the bus back with us. He wasn't sure if he was going to, yeah. but he did ride the bus back with us. Yeah, it was. He was like leaving himself open. It, yeah, leaving himself open to like, let's see how I guess this he, Maybe goes. he didn't want to commit to it at first. And he was like, if these girls seem like, okay, then I'll ride exactly. back with them. Otherwise, I'm like flying home. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, exactly. And he came back on the bus. It was just him and Johnny. And I was like, 47 women mm -hmm. and just the bus driver, which I don't remember his name, Johnny and Donnie. That that was it. <laughs> <laughs> Brave man. <laughs> was that a day and a half with like stopping or just a day um, and a half straight? So through? um we we Sleep. rode the um the bus from Boston. So the bus we stopped and left. Boston and we stopped off in in Vermont remember where we had barbecue we had barbecue yep. at like and on the this <laughs> this stand on the side of the gas station <laughs> it was the best barbecue I've ever had I think that was in the video that you sent me I think there was a picture of that I saw you guys on this like on the side of the yeah. road um, yes. yeah yes it was so much fun so and then and then we 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 drove um you know through all of like Vermont, all the way up to the Canadian border. Do you remember when they stopped at the Canadian border? So the Canadian, like the border patrol guy, just comes through and is like, yeah, he looks okay. Yeah. And then they're all like in the back of the bus, like on top of each other, and like, <laughs> and then he comes and like collects passports. <laughs> it, it was just, I, I just can't, I just don't think that something like this can can like ever happen again, where we're crossing country lines. <laughs> You were saying you were saying something about like the back of the bus. Like, is that I remember? Oh, like, see, the back see, of the bus I was in the front of the bus. bus. This is why I'm like, we need Melissa because Melissa got the back of the bus stories. I was sitting closer to Donnie in the front of the one of the front of the bus, like the middle of the bus. <laughs> so there was a whole lot of stuff going on in the back of that bus. Oh yeah. <laughs> so go tell us. I mean, so so all I know is that it culminated in a picture. Did you see that picture in the video? So there's a picture of all of them yeah. in the bathroom. So you got to tell us how that all happened, Melissa. Oh, go. I don't know about, I don't think I saw that. Yeah. So we wanted to see how many people you could fit in the, in the you know, yeah. the bus, the, the yeah. toilet, the bathroom. Yeah. So there's Donnie was in there, me, April. I think there was like six of us that we fit in there. I think I was only people. Like just to all get in there, see how we can fit in the bus. Uh huh. Was 
were you all like tetrisy and like yeah. in various shapes or just through? <laughs> uh, and then when we did when he did the second from when he did the one from New York to uh, Mohegan, okay. we recreated that photo because we were like we'll do it again. And so we all got in. Okay, that's a whole other story. There was another book. That's a whole other book. Oh yeah. Uh huh. Okay, that's next week. That's next week's live. <laughs> <laughs> this that's a whole other bus because see that yeah that was that was the new year's eve bus yeah we were the odg bus like the original party bus oh, okay so Wait, what was so, the so, other bus actually two buses yeah, that he yeah. Was okay it, it, it was, yes yeah and it only went from from um new york to mohegan not very far yeah, right and back but he didn't come back i don't i was shit faced before we even like left left in new york before that I was put Bailey's in my iced coffee and I was just done for the day. Um, but yeah, that was two buses, but this was the original first bus. Oh, okay. Okay. So like once we got to Montreal, mm -hmm. a few of us fell mm -hmm. so we could actually mm -hmm. like just get we yeah. over. It was just, just ready, rushing up because you're on the bus from like early in the morning and change because you did the yeah. club. And, and so... We just, you know, we had all pictures of us in the rooms and already there's probably like 15 of us mm -hmm. in one. Nobody was getting um, And then he did the whole party there and then back with us too. But um, the bus, I mean, people were awesome with us. Yeah. Like every face, nobody was like screaming or crazy and just mm -hmm. like relaxed. Um, and we just had a lot of fun. Like there was so much random like things that were coming up when I say sigh, <laughs> you say low. <laughs> uh, yes, I saw that. It in was the like yeah. silo, silo, and another silo. We're like, whoa, what is Vermont? Is all just silo. 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 Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that was Amy and Gia. I don't know if they're on, but shout out to them. They were like, <laughs> sigh. You say low, silo. They were. It was. It was. It was crazy. It was. It was a lot of fun. <laughs> time with each one of us yeah mm -hmm. yeah so that was something i wanted to ask because barbie mm -hmm. again when you kind of debriefed me on this you said that donnie made a point to spend mm -hmm. quality time having conversations a conversation with each passenger right and so there's a little bit of background to the story yeah. because i don't know if melissa if you remember um donnie i mean originally you know donnie's super he wants to be like sitting on everybody's lap and that's kind of how the second party bus was but if you go back to that i got it do you remember that he got sick in like i don't know if it was a texas show yeah and this boy was on there sick he's like guys i am still getting over he had like an inner ear infection he was like i am so mm -hmm. dizzy that I'm going to sit down instead mm. and have you guys come and sit with me okay. instead of me walking around. He goes, I just can't, I just can't do it. Like, yeah. I'm just too dizzy. So. I, he, he gets so sick on the boat. And, and like, can you imagine if he has an inner ear bus? infection and you're and the bus is moving? He was like, yeah. <laughs> like hold, me. <laughs> I, yeah. hold me up. So he wanted to kind of just, you know, kind of walk around, which I, which is what he did on the second bus. But again, that's next week. So on the, <laughs> <laughs> and we were definitely on the second bus. <laughs> that was kind of our reunion. Yeah. Um. But anyway, so the, the he had everybody come and sit um with him for a little bit, and it was um you know he sat down, and then you know whoever he picked first, he's like, okay, so you pick one person. He goes, but you got to pick a person that you don't know that you've never, you know, like you've never talked before and you, you tap them and they're going to come next. Not your best friend, not the person sitting next to you, <laughs> somebody that you've never met before. And so that kind of like started to make it a little bit more, you know, a little bit more random. Yeah. And, um, and it wasn't like friend to friend to friend to friend, yeah. you know? And, and so, you know, I got to sit with Donnie kind of on the way up to, um, to the way up to and, New Montreal. And I got him. Um, on the way back, right? So on the way back, so he did he did both texts. Kind of, I felt I think he when we got there, he was like, I haven't gone through everybody yet. So he was really great. Like, you know, this was literally like you, you know, you kind of implied in 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 like some of the the, the background information that we talked about was that this was in the very early days of Twitter. Yeah. So we were talking about like back then we had bubble tweets yeah so he bubble tweeted yeah so even though it doesn't come in the bubble that video that you saw somebody uh he bubbled denise 
was able to download it okay. and incorporate that into into our little video. Um, that was <laughs> love that bubble tweet. That was funny, but he was doing bubble tweets at the time, right? And then we have the um. And then Twitter. So when I sat with him, if you don't mind me jumping into this part. So when I sat with him, he was like, so this is what I did. Are you ready? <laughs> so part of my job back then was I would record the back rub. I don't know if y'all remember the back rub. The back <laughs> I would rub. I, oh, my God. <laughs> what an era. <laughs> so I would record the back rub and like upload it to like you know sharing stuff back then was pretty hard. Yeah. So I would share that on like mega. I would put it on mega upload and then send out the link so people can download it in case they missed it because it was like Friday, oh right? That was my job. Like on their Motorola like flip phones, trying to pixelate Try, the images. Trying to get no. I had to email it to everybody. Like it was it was Black insane. Ace. Like it wasn't like. Yeah. It wasn't a, it wasn't nothing like like it is now. You couldn't upload it to YouTube because yeah. YouTube was like a 3 minute max. It was just So it was it was it was a challenge, but I got it. I was able to download it and I was able to send the link out to um to people. So when I got to him I was like, "Well, well, I was thinking I had my iPod Nano with the background on it and I had my i my <laughs> <laughs> my my earphones. I have one in here, and I go. Well, like, we can just sit here and listen to the back rub. And he was like, "Oh no, we're gonna be listening to the back rub." Oh my god! He was like, one of the guys. What was his name? The guy who did the 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 other song with him, Rise and Grind, short guy. Oh, chubby. I can't remember him. Ro Roscoe. Yes. Yes. Okay. okay. So he was like, "Here, take a picture of me." With her. So he takes a picture. He goes, I'm going to tweet this out. So he's writing on his tweet, like, I'm here listening to the back rub with Barbie. And I go, I go, no, you put at. I told him, put at Barbie 312. Yeah. Like, I told him. <laughs> I go, put at Barbie 312. That's my Twitter. And I go, at Barbie 312. And he was like, oh, all right, all right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, right, right. And then he did it. And then, you know, I went on this bus and we had very little signal through all of Vermont. Yeah. So I couldn't, up, you know, I couldn't update. Like you were asking, we can't update people because there was very little signal. Okay. But, but I, I was, uh, but I did, he sent that out. And so I remember logging back on and I'm like, I have like 150 new followers. I was like, I'm sure. Okay. Yeah. 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 Because, okay. So this was 2009. It was like the very, very early stages of like Twitter. And there wasn't, or, mm -hmm. or like, I don't even know if Instagram was around. So like, were so. you staying like, were yeah. you keeping, were you able to keep blockheads who are at home connected? Because if this were to happen now, we would be going live. Yeah. We would be posting pictures and, you know, was, TikToks. Yeah, there, I don't, I don't think that was, would have even happened. Cause I don't even think we had like a cell signal through yeah. a lot of that countryside, you know? Yeah. So, and I remember I had a, I had a Blackberry with no camera, so I couldn't take anything ever. Everything was done on my like little Nikon camera. Yeah, I had digital camera, yeah. Download all. Oh yeah, I think. I mean, I think I had a digital camera also. I don't think I had a. I don't think I had a camera on my phone. Mm -hmm. yeah. I don't even remember. What a different. What a different time. Uh, anyone? Yeah, I don't think anyone even had bad cameras until like 2012. Right. So you had to phones, like you know, so <laughs> <have you ever laughs> flip around to get yeah. Like, yeah. to get your you know to just point it right and and take the picture I hope you or whatever. Got it right. so, yeah that was 09 yep yep coca-cola gen that was 09 <laughs> back then so, so yeah so it was it, it was a little challenge so we really couldn't i don't think we were able to keep in touch with with everybody on twitter and then you know i don't know if i would have i feel like it was such a special moment anyway yeah that i don't think that i i don't think like when we go on the cruise, because I've been on all the cruises, yeah. that's a whole other thing, right? So, um, <laughs> so I remember back when the cruises were like, all right, we got in, we're in, we took, you know, whatever, I'm turning my phone off and putting it in my bag. And yeah. then I just got, that's it, because the phone wasn't going to work. And now everybody's like on social media and going live and well, see, the signal and the... See, that was my, my question now, like looking back, so, there was so little social media and you don't have a ton of, it's not documented as much as what we do these days, right? Because the bubble tweets are who knows where, right? Mm -hmm. And the mega upload is who, know where, who knows where, like, do you kind of wish that you had more records of it or um, are you like happy with 
um, it being a little, a little bit more of like a, like a private ex experience. <laughs> I think I would have been sad if Denise didn't make that video. Yeah. That, mm -hmm. that yep. I, I post, repost that every year. Like, mm -hmm. I love that video because it just brings back to that time and it has every one of us in there with all of our names, the songs. I mean, it has every moment in there. So I, I think if I didn't have that, I would be sad that we didn't have some stuff, but I'm good. And I think that you I, know, we were talking earlier with Elisa about the difference between BlockCon and the cruise. And that's a big difference with the cruise, even though it's 2023, like the connectivity on the boat is kind of still if choppy murky at that best good. right so you kind of get to the point where it's just like you know what i have to put my camera or like my phone my whatever away and we it's a bit of like a 2009 experience right where we're just experiencing it in person and um we have to save the uploading for later that's my favorite thing about the cruise just yeah. disconnect i yeah. obviously keep my phone because it's all the pictures and all that kind of stuff and yeah i did post live like as we were leaving yep like and then as we're coming back but other than that i wasn't really like on it much enjoying where we were yeah and just enjoy yeah, you get to be a little bit more in the moment right i think yeah. i think i think i think that's like the most for, for the for the bus just being there yeah among i mean in such the early days we really didn't even know each other that well you know I mean, like because this kind of made we kind of bonded because of that because we had the opportunity to get to know each other, you know, like, I don't know. I don't think, I don't think it would have been the same if we were trying to share it with other people outside of there rather than focusing on that moment. And it really made that moment, I think, even extra special. Because <laughs> 2009, this was not that long after the reunion, right? So blockheads were just coming together again. Like, did you know anybody on the bus like especially melissa i guess from being like being from boston were there did you have friends on the bus from like back in the day no not from back well no one girl from back in the day that we went to elementary school together that we okay. reached because she was on the bus marianne i always mm. remember oh yeah, Mary. We went to elementary school together um but other than that was just a few friends that i had from here yeah. that we all together and then just like I said, there was 47 of us. So mm -hmm. we all connected and I still mm -hmm. talk so many of them. We still see each other at shows or when you guys, mm -hmm. we make sure for dinners and hanging out and all that kind of stuff. But that initially bonded us at that moment. Mm -hmm. Such a unique experience. Yeah. 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 And, and again, early on, but you know, it was, he had joined Twitter probably you know, I uh, looked it up. Oh, nine, March. I think that March 2009. Yeah, March 2009, girl. You know, I went to my first show March 12th, which is my birthday, March 12th, oh, 2009. Like and birthday. he joined Twitter on like March 17 or 18. And I was like, he's looking for me. <laughs> Let me live in my dream world. Yeah. Anyway, <laughs> yeah. Let me live in my dream world. And so, you know, I spend a lot of time on Twitter and I got to know so many people. And I think that I think that I was able to find somebody and I don't I mean, I'm from Miami, so I didn't know anybody that was on the boat. I mean, on the boat, I'm sorry, on the bus that was not um, I met somebody that I found out through a friend of mine from Miami that was going It's like, oh, my friend Chantel is going and that's how that's who I sat with because then I, you know, I talked to her and I was like, Oh my God. And we're going and like this. And, and she's like, Oh, you can sleep over my house. And I slept over her house. And so we got to know each other. And then we sat together when we got to the bus and we were, I was, I sat not in the back because we came from, she lives in New Hampshire. Yeah. And um, we came and we were like the last people to show up. <laughs> I think like, I think Donnie almost was like maybe 10 minutes behind us. And so we were in the line, we were all the way at the back. So when, you know, they filled up, filled up the bus and then they're like I'm like okay so where should we sit and they're like okay you guys sit there and literally I sat two rows away from Donnie for the entire time that we were there you know and then that's where I basically stayed on the way back too so it was like every time that even in between girls we were just like ah, and just you know mm -hmm. you know saying jokes and funny stuff I mean it was just what a way what a thing to be able to experience you know like I think I was on a high for probably like a year <laughs> <laughs> like, like 
I oh think my that's God. fair. That's fair. <laughs> like, I just got to spend, and I can I tell you how, how much the bus was? Oh, yeah. I don't know if you, it was $199. Yep. Do you believe that? 200 we're like, I'm like, crazy. time, time with Donnie Wahlberg divided by 100, I mean, 99, 199 divided by the amount of hours we spent with Donnie Wahlberg is a very good rate of return. That's, that's, <laughs> <laughs> that, that is, is some return deal. on investment yeah. right there. <laughs> like, it was great. When I tell people how much I paid, they're like, Ugh. and that included our ticket to get into the ultra yep. light nightclub in Montreal. Melissa, did, did you organize the whole thing? Like, yeah. how did, okay. No, but it okay. was another like fan who organized it all. Oh my gosh, I'm just so trying to wrap my head around all that logistics. Like, how fast like did it all have to come together? Do so you know? It was her suggestion yeah. to it, and I kind of ran with it, and and then you know then where the tickets went on sale and mm -hmm. all that kind of. Stuff. But um, so it was just her idea to do yeah. it. Yeah, oh, she okay. said you have to give me a ride. Like I'm not driving to Montreal. Yeah. Yeah. Um, that was April, right? April, yep. April. I'm like, I know April OJ. I always like, I always think of her and I'm like, thank you. Because Donnie Wahlberg knows me, my name, because of that book. Because of, so <laughs> big shout out to April. Yeah. <laughs> April OJ. <laughs> Zookeeper set. So it was like an exit from my work at the time. Mm -hmm. And so we would just go, like, I remember one night on set, we were there till like four or five in the morning. And we were all to his wow. trailer and I had nowhere to sit so I sat in the sink mm -hmm. and he, you in my sink that it's my bidet and he just looked at me like <laughs> <laughs> and but you know and he's and I still remember he tweeted out like oh, all the all the you know, everybody that's in the trailer yes you can use the potty like because we were like should we go in his bathroom like we didn't know what the hell we were doing because he was filming and um but yeah, just from going to that, and it turned into the whole thing, and then like when you were saying the earth, I feel like I feel like that allowed him to like kind of connect with the Boston girls, right? And be like, oh, okay, they they're cool, they're we're cool, cool. Yeah. we can do a bus with Boston people. Because the other reason why this happened um, is because there was no show in Boston, and I remember you girls were like, why aren't you doing an I Got It show? Like you have all these other places you're doing Atlanta and Houston and you know all these other places, but you're not doing home. Your hometown, yeah. Yeah. you know, you're not doing your hometown, and I'm like, that's all you know. Maybe you know more, Melissa, about that because I wasn't there. <laughs> discussion, but this was the way this is the reason why this bus kind of you know, oh, Montreal was the closest one to Boston because he wasn't he, able to maybe procure a spot in mm -hmm. Boston. But so, yeah, it was it was an experience, and then so I sat with him on the way back, okay, from after the club so like it's like four in the morning like my picture with him we're exhausted we're mm -hmm. like hung over we've already been up you know almost 24 hours plus um there was no there was no there was but that's not surprising the picture, <laughs> so bobby you know the picture that i have it's, we, we have the picture together and then there's another picture right after it i, I said to him I was like let's pretend we're sleeping so we took a picture we both look like we're sound asleep and we yes. actually for a few minutes like there and I woke up I was like oh okay I'm gonna go back to my seat now <laughs> so, like we just really, really fell asleep at like 4 30 in the morning on the bus <laughs> but and then and, and then on the way back we stopped off at McDonald's yes we stopped at McDonald's to wait are there I guess there are no uh waffle houses no no, no okay that's, okay that's so too McDonald's far north for waffle <laughs> But yeah, no, no, no waffle houses. But we would have stopped there if we, if yeah. we could. But of course, no, no we stopped at the, the roadside barbecue pork and uh, <laughs> McDonald's. And McDonald's. Those were those were our meals. I mean, did we even eat anything? Else? Like, I don't even, I don't even think. I that... know, I'm trying to do the math. I feel like that's not enough food. <laughs> yeah. I know. Like in the back of the bus, we brought a lot of alcohol. We brought okay. candy and chips and like all kinds of picky things to like have during during the time but yeah it was just it's we just have that adrenaline right that you kind of uh the appetite disappears yeah and we, yeah, we just absolutely. bonded we just all had a great time like we just laughed the whole time you know and and just nobody bothered him mm, yeah let, let him do his own thing everybody had their time with him yeah we, we were just there and we were just chilled out and relaxed and just, we know we got time with them. We're, we're on a bus for the next eight hours. Like we're not going anywhere. So besides 
trying to cram as many people as possible in a washroom and you know listening to the back rub what what did you guys do on the bus that you can talk about because i'm sure there were probably some like uh you know what happens on the bus stays on the bus moments but what can you like talk about what would you do on the bus like i mean there was just a lot of like side conversations and yeah. people talking you know just people hanging out and laughing yeah. and taking just being silly just enjoying the moment you yeah. know yeah. Because because remember, he was sitting with with a with a different person like every five minutes yeah. or so, ten minutes. So we sat with him for five or ten minutes. I mean, depending on however long you know you could keep it like keep it going. And and so every conversation he had, I mean, during that time, of course, we're having our side conversations. But you know, every conversation he had might have brought up like oh this or or oh that, and then you know I'm gonna talk to everybody about this, you know. And so it was it was like he'll stand, he'll. Stand up and turn around and be like do you guys remember this i just remember it specifically but i remember him doing that i remember what he said but like you know that that kind of thing like he would remind us of like oh what you know last tour or something that happened and it was fun like we just spent just you know that's like it's like a long conversation yeah. World, <laughs> yeah. World of, about that that weekend too sorry world of johnny what <laughs> yes he like the nickname did. that's something johnny? else that we did world of yeah. johnny yeah. Got his Twitter account oh, set up oh, that that okay. day, and every time okay. he says the name, "World of Johnny," we have to clap. <laughs> uh, for anybody in the chat, in case there's anybody here who doesn't know who Johnny is, do you want to let people know? Or was is yeah was um it was his old yeah. assistant. Yeah, yeah. So he was the sidekick for for many years, yeah, many many years. Yeah. So, um, but that's where he he came about on Twitter and, um. Yeah, just all kinds of, just, I'm trying to, th like, I remember, like, we had our own little separate area in the, at the bar, at the club, and, like, you know, just as he's performing, and then got to meet some of the, you know, people from, from Montreal then that we mm -hmm. had talked to um, on Twitter, because, again, it was early days, yeah. so, you know, it wasn't as, there was a lot of people but you got to see a lot of the same people that you just knew the names and you started to, you know, meet people and like the, the OGs, like from that very beginning, like early days. You know who I met for the first time there that he brought her on the bus? Maria. Yep. Yikes. Mm -hmm. Really? Yeah. He was like, Oh, oh yikes, oh, because you're going to help cool. me practice my French, you know, blah, yep. blah, blah. So, so was she, she brought her on the bus. Was she on the bus? Back no, she wasn't. She, she lived in Montreal. Yeah. She's from Montreal. Yeah. So she, when she got there, like, yeah. you know, she was right there. So he brought her on the bus and they, they spent a little time on the bus there. Oh, so that was, the, the, that's the first time I met her. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Isn't that crazy? Was there, was there anything that happened while you were on the bus that was like completely surprising that you just weren't expecting? But obviously all of this is unexpected. I was you like, I wasn't that expecting that to have <laughs> barbecue from the side of the road with Donnie Wahlberg or McDonald's on the way back. Yeah. <laughs> Those two things, I was like, we're just, I have a picture of me. I'm like this, just <laughs> laughing. It's Johnny and Donnie. I'm like, how many people get a picture like that? I mean, it was not my best moment. It was like eight o'clock in the morning. Yeah. But, but like, just you got it. Laughing. Like, I don't know what he said. We were just laughing. That was, that was, that was I'm like, I'm in a McDonald's with yep. Donnie Wahlberg. Yeah. <laughs> I, all of us just let things ha happen. Just mm -hmm. let it go. And just, mm -hmm. wasn't it, I, I mean, I know myself, I wasn't going in expecting anything just to have fun with the friends that I was going with. And, and, you know, Donnie was a bonus and then obviously beating everybody else. Um, um, but it was just no expectations and just, just enjoyed it. And, yeah, you know, now we just, we still see each other and it's, takes you right back it's like oh from everybody from the bus like there's a connection so we mentioned um a video and barbie you sent it to me and i'll post it in my stories as well for people who want to like get a visual <laughs> see visual of what we're what we're talking about but at the end of the video it like hints uh, it says like hope to see you guys again and like it hints at a reunion i was gonna ask was there a was there a re reunion but you mentioned that there was a reunion of, of sorts like a year later right so can you just kind of like lightly touch on this other bus journey yeah, yeah so that bus was day one okay it was january 1st 2011 yeah one one day one so if you have to see him like posting that that was day one mm -hmm. um uh-oh and 
Uh oh. <laughs> Sorry, I live right by LAPD helipad. <laughs> Sorry, oh, okay. Go by, Melissa. Sorry. Can you can you go back? Sorry, Please. Melissa. Uh, yeah. I apologize. Can you can you go back? So it's it it left on one 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 one. Yes. So day day one. Yeah. Um, and so the first is the first bus had I think all the originals on there oh, from the okay. original, and the second bus was anybody who wasn't one of the originals was on the second bus because I had a lot of friends on the second bus that didn't yeah. come on the first bus. But he, yeah, halfway through so. Mohe New York to Mohegan is only about two hours. Okay. It's not that. So mm -hmm. halfway through, he left one bus, another bus. So it wasn't the same where he was on the bus the whole time. Okay. You know, and then he did a whole big party at Mohegan, and um, again, a bunch of us had a room that we could just change and get ready in and stuff like that. Cause you'd obviously dress a little nicer at the casino and the whole thing. Um, and then he didn't come back with us. I don't believe. Okay. I no, no, he didn't come back with us, so it was just mm -hmm. that first that first leg there. Um so wasn't as intimate as the first bus. Yeah. It was fun. But um a but a lot it more people got to enjoy uh, got to yeah. have the experience, right? Yeah. Yeah. And then he did another bus. Wasn't it like um You did the Vir Virginia the Virginia Beach bus. Virginia Beach bus. I, I didn't go on that one though. That was like the third. I didn't yeah. either. I just did the other two. So, so Virginia Beach from where to where? Or I think it was just, we know. maybe somebody in the chat knows. Yeah, it wasn't as long. Oh. Like it was, it was, it was, it was, yeah. Two, one of his shows? What, yeah. to a show? I think, I think so. I don't, I don't, I don't remember where the, it originated though. You're going, we're going to have to find you. I, I know somebody who was on that book. I'll have to find you that you do that another day. Sounds good. Um, but the, the 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 day one <laughs> there they come around again. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Let me it's go okay. Back. <laughs> I hear sirens right now up my face. <laughs> they are um the daylight is so fantastic. I was like, well just be outside. <laughs> um so the um, the day one bus was right after they did the New Year's Eve show. So that was a really special like I got to see that, you know, the New Year's Eve when they were on. It was just so much fun. Yeah. We yeah, we were there, like, you know, pretty close. Uh, not too close, but pretty good. Good view. And it was it was a fast opening because I've always wanted to do Times Square, and I thought that that was really cool. And then the next day, you know, we were able to, to, to do the, 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 the day one bus. But that was a shorter bus. Then he did a third bus that he also went to – I mean, a fourth yes. bus that he also went to Mohegan. Okay. So those were the four party buses. We went on the fourth, the fourth party bus also went to Mohegan, but we left on a, like a Friday night. Mm -hmm. And you know how you said it's like two hours, but that one took like yeah. four hours. We were going really slow, but there was also a lot of traffic. Perfect. That one looks like That's four. exactly what, the, the, the one time you want traffic, right? Yes. We're like 30 miles an hour. Yeah. That's all right. <laughs> we even got there late. <laughs> like that. We got, were you on that bus? I didn't Ma do that, but I did the party at Mohegan. Cause I oh. didn't do um, I didn't do the the New Year's Eve show in Times Square. I drove from Boston to New York, got on the bus, went from the bus to Mohegan, Mohegan back to New York, and then New York back to Boston. <laughs> <laughs> and that was just like, oh, oh no, I'm not gonna do that again. <laughs> so it sounds like if um, if Donnie were to do this again, uh, you know, the OGs, you guys would have your seat like your seat is saved for you on all future bus rides, right? Yeah. Same. I was the, the very last seat in the back of the bus. And that's where right. I wanted to go. Um, yeah. And then the second bus, <laughs> the second bus is when the bangs came off. Oh. The first time. <laughs> I think I've heard about and, this. <laughs> and he was sitting on my lap and I was shit -faced. I took them off and I started fanning myself. <laughs> Fucking hot! What did you do? <laughs> he had no clue. Oh my, oh my gosh! Fun. Did he even know that bangs no. can be removed? He was probably wait no what? Clue. So then he put them on, like the strings. Like this is part of it. He put that around his glasses, and I was like, "You're not your teeth." Like he was. He looks like a young Abe Lincoln. Like with the. He, he looked like what? 
Abe Lincoln. Oh, because he found his sunglasses, so it was like a big. Yeah, yeah. He had, um, and then he put him on like like he's had a mustache too. Mm -hmm. And then we did a second bathroom oh um, picture for that. The second yeah. bathroom shot. Yeah. Um, I'm trying to think. There was another thing too, but that was the first time the bangs came came off. And then it came off again at some point. And now he like he made me do it in front of like. Well, first of all, he told Danny on the, on Zoom. Yeah. And he made me. And Danny had no clue. Yeah. 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 I didn't know this. He was like freaking out. Now he calls me flippy. Every time he sees me, he's like, flip him. Yeah. <laughs> flip him back. <laughs> <laughs> and then. Epic. Epic. <laughs> and then he made, Donnie made me take him off um, this past tour for Jordan, John, and Joe. I'm like, are you serious? Like, <laughs> he's like, do it. Do it. Can you do it? Can you do it? <laughs> like, you're yeah, weird. There's some. So silly. <laughs> my very first memories of you, Melissa, and I know I've told you this, but it was I was on a Zoom with Danny and he mentioned, Oh, you know my friend Melissa. I was like, Well, I just don't social media, whatever. And he's like, Her bangs are fake. And I was like, What? Like, Her bangs are real. I was like, Why are you telling me this? And why is it like so I can't believe I mean there's a lot of people walking around with you know seen Detachable me with hair these days <laughs> he's never seen me without them so he just didn't know and like even on the cruise um you know as we're coming into miami so i'm on the top deck and he he, he finds me everyone's like flip him flip him <laughs> flip him <laughs> calls me do you kind of feel like you have to keep the bangs now because it's like your it's like one of your things it's like your signature yeah and you know matches my hair it's get them done they're cute. You look cute with them, so it's like just yeah. an addition so, to your adorableness. Else, all, all growing out of the head, but it's just you know I wanted something different, but I didn't want to cut my hair because then you stuck with it. And yeah, now yeah. I can you know put them on whenever I want. Well, listen, but, Barbie and I we spend a lot of time clearly at the salon, so I think you've made a good choice. <laughs> with... Oh, too. It, all the great side. My husband calls me Polly Walnuts <laughs> from The Sopranos because all my great. <laughs> <laughs> but you you know for the last cruise i actually found one that matched my hair and i and i you spiked them up and i had them did you see me on the yeah. last cruise i had like the big spiky hair it was really yep, cool and then for the, that night i didn't do the best but i just did like a poof and big hair on the side and they probably nobody recognized you <laughs> <laughs> no oh they did okay so okay so uh, like parking your 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 bus experiences because now we know there's been more than one for each of you what's your most legendary moment as a blockhead other than the bus if you can share one um i have one which i thought was kind of kind of similar to to what you have experienced um i did my first ultimate in 2017 okay and uh i used to be much bigger and i lost a bunch of weight and then so like i get in you know, like I, I come in. Well, first of all, I, I, I did, you know, how you go and you do the picture with 10 people first. I had a black dress on and I had this really awesome pink dress underneath. And I took off the pink, to, took off the black dress and I had this like super oh, awesome, that's... like open down the sides, pink dress that I, that I had on. Um, and, and then Donnie, like as soon as I walk in, you know, st Donnie starts talking to everybody on you know, about, oh, my God, and Barbie, and she's so beautiful. She's always been beautiful. But, look, my God, she looks amazing. Like, she lost all this weight, and, you know, blah, blah, blah. And then they're like, oh, my God, I can't believe it, and whatever. And then, you know, we had, but he was like, can you send me a picture? And I was like, yeah. So I go, well, I can, but, I mean, I can't. I don't have my phone because it's a meet and greet. You can't have your phone in the meet and greet. I go, but I could DM it to you. He goes, okay. So this was, this was in Tampa in 2017. And then... I had a meet and greet in Fort Lauderdale, which was the next show yeah. with my mom, actually. Mm -hmm. And so I got there. He was like, Danny was like, dang, you do look great. And I was like, huh? 
And so they were all talking about like each as I stopped to each guy like, "Oh my god, you wow, I saw your picture. I can't believe it." And I was like, "Okay, so now there's a there was a side conversation yes, that I yes. was not privy to." <laughs> so there was a background conversation that picture somewhere. Was circulating. My picture circulated among the all five because they all five made a comment and I was like, "I want to know what those text messages are." <laughs> like, right? I want to know what was that. Uh, Jen in the chat keeps commenting about uh, Donnie's "You're hot," telling you that you're hot comment. Oh, I don't know if that's yeah, well, that was this or there was yeah, that was that was a, we were <laughs> we were at um that was a separate moment. So that we were at um He's used to it, right? at Blue Blood at, yeah. on the set, and he came up. We went on like Columbus Day, Indigenous Peoples Day weekend. And it was on Tuesday. Oh, my God. And everybody had the same idea. So we were like 27 people <laughs> waiting for Donnie outside of yeah. Blue Blood on the sidewalk. And then, you know, Jen and I were there. And Jen and um, and Donnie, oh, no. You know, what I was saying. Donnie's like, Barbie, you're hot. And I was like, stop. <laughs> this, this was, that was pretty epic. I was like, he, he does that. To me all the time and i i appreciate it and i love it <laughs> i mean the 13 year old in me who saw that telephone like, yeah the oh, telephone yeah yeah <laughs> <All right. laughs> so every time he pulls one of those you're like ah! it's probably, it's on every the time inside you it, i just probably... try to keep it you know I, I try to keep like a normal face on the outside be like oh, stop uh, like it probably never gets old as well right yeah. <laughs> yeah. Melissa, what about oh, you? Um, this is a couple of random things. Like, I've been wicked lucky, like, just with everything that I've been able to do, yeah. especially. They do a lot of stuff in Boston. Yeah. You know, all the Wahlburgers openings, like, you know, Danny did, like, a lot of the, the Coleman races here when he, when he was part of that, as yeah. well as we did a city challenge where I had to like slide over a police car and like carry cinder blocks and like a whole fight with Dan. Yeah. Um, yeah. But like, so two funny things. So when you were saying <laughs> one day me and um, my friend Erica went to set to visit Donnie and they were filming on location. So they're still in Brooklyn, but on location. Mm -hmm. He's like, we got to message Danny when you get back. I'm like, I do. He's like, yeah, we were talking about you. I told him you were on your way here. I'm like, you're having conversations about me. Right. I'm not right. okay. So then we FaceTime Danny, but it was Donnie's an emoji, cartoon yeah. face, my mm -hmm. voice. <laughs> Did he freak you out? Stop it. Stop it. <laughs> my voice coming through the cartoon, Donnie face. And we just like laughed the whole time. It was raining out. We were outside under an umbrella with the phones and just me and Donnie and Eric just laughing our asses off at Danny and like having this most random conversation. But he's like, yeah, I told him you're on your way, that you were coming here to visit, blah, 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 which again is strange. And then, <laughs> and then one day, uh, so my ultimate, I did one of the very, very first ultimates. Okay. It was in 2011 uh, with the Backstreet boys tour mm -hmm. but it was like first it's like the first okay. three shows one of the first three shows like it was the first uh, and only ultimate i've done so far we went to buffalo um to do the ultimate and this was before they did the individual pictures or candids or anything you just got the two pictures that was it oh. you only got the two group pictures like the regular posed one and like mm -hmm. hugging so so my goal was to be in between Joe and Danny. Mm -hmm. That was Joe was my love as a kid and then Danny. Well, John had just um, b busted his, his knee. So he had the knee brace on. So he had this huge knee brace on and it moved. He didn't even perform that night. And, but he still did the, the ultimates. So I'm trying to pull Danny in. Donnie hijacked me. So I can't get to the two of them. But the hugging picture... Joe's got his, he's wrapped around me and like making this like face. Don, Jordan's on my boob. <laughs> <Like, laughs> Jordan's got his head and he's like with his eyes closed. He's like napping on my boob. Like, <laughs> it is the craziest picture, but it's amazing. Like, come on. It must be very comfortable for him. What do you say? Oh, hey, yummy. That's okay. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> 
but like you know like that's one of my favorite things and then I remember Donnie grabbed me he's like I love you but you know I'm like I love you too but can I get a picture of Joe and Danny so I got two more pictures I got one of the two three of us like nice together and then another one that Joe's just like wrapping around me and I get the two of them completely like wrapping around me and um yeah those are like some of my favorite pictures in the world <laughs> oh well Megs has commented that it's one of the best pics oh, ever so you might have to share it uh afterwards yeah so everybody can see it again i'll share that and i'll share the bangs picture too so. yeah oh my god yeah yes please <laughs> okay so for each of you obviously there's a lot going on in the future as far as new kids are concerned the forecast for the new kids future year um are you guys are you each going to the con to the cruise what are your events that you're planning to attend this year right now i have nothing i'm not going to either uh... and just to balance things out i am going to con <laughs> okay uh, okay um i'm going to yamava okay because it's only an hour and a half away only one day although i'm considering the 29th but they added that later so i don't know i will be going with coca-cola jen to Oklahoma because I have this goal to reach all 50 states by 50. Ah. I am 47 and I figured what better reason to go to Oklahoma that I've never been to than right. for a new kids show. Did you say you have 47? I'm 47, but I have, I have 40, I'm at 44 states. Oh, okay, 40, okay, okay. Yeah, so you I can do it. Time. I can do it. I'm 47 years old. I got six more after Oklahoma and uh, of course I'm going on the cruise. Yeah. How do I how do I stop going on cruises? Right. I just don't I just don't know. Yeah. How do you convince Locked Melissa to go? Husband's birthday. You know what happened? Say it again. Block con is the same weekend as my husband's birthday. Oh, okay. So, and I oh. wasn't planning on going on the last two cruises, but I ended up there. Yeah. Who yeah. knows? <laughs> like we say every every time we have one of these lives, you know, there's time. There's a lot of time between now and October. There's stuff can take yeah. shape. Yeah, absolutely. No, we'll see what happens and you know, but it's it's always it's 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 just it's my happy place. Especially yeah. when we have that makes me even happier. Especially when we have what? Sorry. Oh Fen you got cut up. Oh. Fenway. Yeah. Cause that's yeah. my Yeah. Yeah. The yeah the I got blockheads. But a very special place in my heart. So oh. that was the last place my grandparents went on a on a date before my grandmother passed away a couple of days later. Oh. So because right, it's it was only like twenty minutes from by train for me. So we would always go there and stuff. So that's a that's always been a special place for me. So um, when we finally got the show in twenty one after the two years of the pandemic, yeah. so it was like okay, so I got new kids. And I got Belle Bip DeVoe, so I got part of my new edition here, too. Yeah. <laughs> and Fenway. And, like, I got to see everybody that I hadn't seen in years. That was the last time I saw Yikes. Mm -hmm. That was, like, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? Like, mm -hmm. so many different things. But, like, that was just an emotional, emotional show for so many reasons. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yes, my my um, person who, who did the meet and greet with me, uh, Shannon, one of my besties, she just busted out crying. I think her, our meet and greet picture, she's like, <laughs> Tears coming down her face. It was a very 20, that Fenway show in 21 after all of this was a very, was a very, very charged, emotionally charged yeah. show. Yeah. But for the best possible, like, just. Yeah. Because it's not. Even, it's kind of getting I, back to, getting back to, you know, our, our, our happy place. Yeah. It was like, we are, but it was just so, so emotional. Yeah, that's, that's exactly. I was going to say, because like, I was there too, and I'd never been to Boston or to Fenway before, but not just being back, you know, in our happy place of being surrounded by blockheads, new kids, but just like being at a concert and just surrounded by people. It's like this reminder mm -hmm. of the way things used to be. Right. And yeah. even though at that point it was only 2021, we'd only been like a year and a half in the pandemic. Like, oh gosh, we miss it. I'm just like, we so needed that. So thankful that they did it, that they went ahead yeah. and they did it. Cause a lot of artists were not taking that plunge. Yep. I, mm -hmm. I, that's finally yeah. fingers crossed happening in july um that it, it's been postponed three times already which one sorry that's box 20 
Matchbox yeah. 20. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. I hope that one happens for you. Yeah. But, um, but yeah, Fenway, like every time we turned around, we were seeing somebody else. Mm -hmm. like, and it was, and I remember people in the audience, they're like, oh my God, I'm, I'm just enjoying watching you guys. It was like, ah, screaming, hugging, crying. I mean, and actually a lot of the bus people were there because it was Nookie and it was, um, yeah, it was Christina and it was uh jess and then it was me erica amanda like yikes all of us together like we all got to yeah. you know just just be together like for what makes us happy and, and like i said in in the best place in the world <laughs> my yeah. favorite place absolutely absolutely i remember that meet and greet mm -hmm. i get through and john john i'm not sure if john knows me by name <laughs> But John was like, last time I saw you was in Fort Lauderdale in 2019. And I was like, he remembers. How, how does John remember that? I loved it. That was just that was really special for me. You know, like, I feel like I started busting. Okay, like, like how, what, everything we've been through, you know, just so much. Because it was only a year and a half, yep. but it felt like a decade. Yep. <laughs> yeah. And it, it, was, it was crazy, but it is. It's, it, this whole community like it's just awesome of all people that we wouldn't have met had they not reunited so i'm grateful for that yeah. like every day because there's so many people from all over the country and all over yeah. the world that we know now <laughs> and we get, get to do it again in a different yeah. way in two and well, a bit weeks <laughs> melissa you should I'll be, be there, there. In spirit. i'll be there oh in spirit well yeah you still have to be okay okay <laughs> well I'll have to baby for prom yes. and I'll wear bangs for you. It was <laughs> yeah, I'll get the, I'll get, yeah, the so bangs that match your color, right? So yeah. I'll have a bun there with the black bangs. Tara texted me. <laughs> like, you totally <laughs> oh found the Brenda Kelly prom dress from 90210. She's like, you have to wear this. I was like, I'm not going. Oh my God. I was looking. I was, I was really tempted to try to make that, to try to find that look for prom. Yeah. I, I get compared to, to Brenda quite often. Yeah. So. Yeah. <laughs> well, listen, like Barbie could have been your Kelly because remember they had matching prom dresses. Yes. Yeah. Accidentally. Yep. That was the whole thing. Spring dance. Yeah. That was, uh, yep. That was May 1991. I have a sick mind when it comes to that show. So. Oh, got, got it. <laughs> She's the biggest 90210 fan I know. <laughs> oh, yeah. I, I love just, it. Okay. So with. I'll just ask Barbie since you're going to be at Black. What are your hopes for Black? You know, that, um, it's a good qu question. I, I, I kind of wonder a lot about the in-between time. Um, I, I also wondered, and I was talking about this, I think, with, with Christina. I was like, are we going to be standing during this prom? Or are we going to have a sitting opportunity? <laughs> like, I'm not sure what's going to happen. I, like, I need to know this. Because I don't think am I, I, I going to be sit in my dress. So I really... <laughs> I, I don't know if I could sit in mine either, but I, I'm like, I need to make sure that I have the adequate shoes right. for if we're going to be standing the entire time. Yeah. So, um, that's one thing that I'm like, mm, I don't, I just don't, I don't know if it's going to be a mingling situation. I mean, I, I, I really hope that even though I didn't get VIP because that was a whole fiasco, yeah. um, that I'm able to, you know, like kind of like cruise like, like get an opportunity to, to say hi. Yeah. One of the things that I always like is to like know that I'm there. And then I'm there and then I'm supporting and that I love them and I love them eternally. And, and, you know, I've had so many amazing experiences and I just, you know, I just continue to test my happy place. So I, I, here I am going to everything. Listen, Barbie, <laughs> knowing you for uh, what, 45 minutes or half an hour, I'm sure your presence will be known <laughs> for sure. Yeah. And I'm also like, what you don't know maybe is that I'm also like six feet tall. There you go. <laughs> Like you can find me uh, just look over everybody's head yeah. Yeah. yeah i just hope i'm not behind you at the concert <laughs> let me tell you i had this one experience and i was like the tall people should stand in the back and i was like i'm sorry that god gave me legs and gave you yeah. stuff i'm sorry <laughs> i'm sorry <laughs> yeah yeah it was a general admission show and i was second row so i like, i want that opportunity too <laughs> Oh my Should god. Anyway. Sorry. <laughs> Just in the comments yeah. right now, kinda. Yeah, I have not 
looked at the comments only only a little bit here and there. Well, listen, a lot of people are praising the both of you. You have a lot of friends in here. A lot of people are enjoying your yes. storytelling. Um, looking forward to seeing you, uh, Barbie, at BlockCon, and of course, missing. They're gonna miss you big time, Melissa. Yeah, I'll, uh, I always do. So just <laughs> you never know. I mean, I met Ashley. Would I meet you in Iowa? Like, yeah. So I wasn't oh, planning on that. So like, I end up the most random places. <laughs> and Barbie, you're a professor. I am. Yeah. That is, yeah. <laughs> that is and, what I do. And, and what's what? What do you? What do I you would teach? Profess. I I what have you professed profess? a lot yeah. of things. <laughs> I professed a lot of things over the years. Um, I teach. Um, right now I'm teaching online um, for West Coast University so I'm fully online so that I could be here with my love Peter that I met during the pandemic that's like a whole other story um, <laughs> but um, and so this is what brought me to Los Angeles and um, or kept me in Los Angeles more so not what brought me to Los Angeles but I um, I teach like science and technology uh, human biology and I just started teaching uh, public health as wow. a, a, a graduate professor in the public health program at West Coast University, which is based out of LA. But I was working originally in their Miami campus and I taught anatomy, physiology, microbiology, pathophysiology. So a lot of times, let me tell you, while I love, love turning my phone off and like disconnecting when I'm on the cruise, yeah. these yeah. past few years that I have been fully online, I've had to leave it on because students will text me. Yeah. I mean, you can ask any one of my friends. So she's talking to one of her students that texted her at like, you know, two o'clock in the morning. <laughs> I'm at a party. Text I'm, literally, I was texting a student this last cruise, texting a student as Donnie zooms by me. And I'm like, oh, maybe I should be paying attention. <laughs> I, think, I was you know, texting I think a student a Put down the phone. 10 p.m. on Sunday. <laughs> I got to a conga dance with Donnie, though. Not oh, conga I dance. Remember I remember like, that. Salsa that, dance. Was, that was a long conga line, yeah. Yeah, at the uh, end Melissa, of the conga were you, line. Were you in that conga line? I was not in the conga line, but yeah. I was on stage with John. Okay. And Donnie. And then years ago, I was on stage with Danny. Yeah. Um, and yeah, I'm just, again, all over the place. So. <laughs> yeah. What about you, Ashley? Did you join that conga line on this last cruise? No, that's, yeah. I won't. Yeah, <laughs> I wasn't in that. I think by that time of night, I was like, I can't figure. I'm just going to stand right here and smile and enjoy yeah. everyone else. <laughs> Good time. Because what was that the Love third it. night? I, it was, I, I think not, I, I thought it was GPS. Yeah. Okay. That made, would make sense. Because I, I just remember night. so tired. It was GPS. It was GPS night. No, my. I, my uh, experience last cruise was like stay and put. I just yeah. picked a spot and I was like, I'm happy. I'm happy here. You're a happy place. I, yeah. Stay in my spot. I, that's what I saw you, Melissa, in your basketball uniform. Yes. Yep. Oh, were you uh, like a rock and jazz yes. too? Oh, Me okay. And five of my other friends, we did three and three. Okay. So from the violators, three from the bricklayers. Okay. And I, yeah. um, I had the rock and jazz. Perry one. So it's a Perry 90210 and I had the American flag shots. Like I did his full outfit that he did for that. <laughs> it was really good. Got it. That's amazing. Well, well, you guys, thank you so much for sharing uh, this incredible journey. <laughs> Again, that I've been dying to learn more about. Um, so we appreciate you coming on here and sharing not just your bus story, but all of your other uh, um, epic blockhead stories and i'm sure there's plenty that you uh that you've got uh, in the hopper for another time oh yeah yeah oh yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> i'll be individually fill an hour with just each of you one-on-one -on -one you can fill like three hours with just boston girl over here <laughs> yeah 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 so if uh anybody in the chat is not already already following barbie and melissa again if you go to the drop down menu where you see blockhead you there's an arrow drop down and you'll see both of their instagram handles you can follow them along and uh follow on their uh continued blockhead adventures and just life adventures thank you thank you
Oh, so much for and I'm going to post a video. I'm going to post a video on my stories uh, afterwards again so people will have a visual of uh, what this bus experience was kind of like. Do you want me to post a couple of the pictures just for so you can post them if yeah, you want? Yeah, for sure. Awesome. Yeah, that'd be great. That'd be great. Oh, yeah. Thank you. Crazy I will. I'll, I'll take you guys down, okay? So say. <laughs> All right. Thank you. Bye, Bye everyone. Bye-bye. Bye. Yay. Oh, my gosh. So much fun. You know, I think, I think honestly, one of the things that like that whole story leaves me with the bus specifically mm -hmm. is you had a great question about like how different it would be today. Yeah. If you did that and even, you know, people in their seats on their phones wouldn't be interacting with the people next to them as much yeah. or it's, they it, would be on the boat. Sorry. They'd be on the bus with Donnie Wahlberg, but like, you know, we just yeah. get so distracted with what's on our phone. So it's, it's a great reminder to put the phone down, talk to the people around you, make new friends. That's my hope for BlackCon. That's my hope for uh, the cruise this year again, is just to, in the moment, other than maybe a few small instances of having the phone out. Just it's enjoy. a little easier to do that on the boat. The BlackCon Bla Bla is going to be a challenge. Yeah, for sure. But everyone hopefully will be taking tons of pictures and sharing them online and It'll be it'll be fun for those who aren't able to attend to still see all the all the awesome times that everyone's having and hopefully not too much FOMO. <laughs> yeah, yeah. For sure. Well, thank you, Ashley, for another week. It's I'm happy to be here with you again. Thank you uh, for stepping up and uh, holding down the reins last week. <laughs> happy happy to do it and. You know, we, we all know, I mean, you did it when I was on uh, my birthday trip. And so it's, um, it's great to know that we're here together. And when we can't be that, we'll, we will be missed. You were missed last week for sure. Thank you. Um, okay, so next week, we're going to be here. I don't think we've, we haven't completely mapped out next week, but we're, we're going to get on it tomorrow, I promise. Yeah. But the following week, we have one guest lined up. Uh, we have Paris, the, the new kids uh, photographer. She's going to be joining us like, a couple of, like, what's that, the 24th, yeah. I think, of, of May. Mm -hmm. So stick around. Uh, again, follow the both of us, and we'll keep you guys posted on upcoming lives with links and reminders and everything. And thank you so much for joining us. Yes. We appreciate yes. you. Every thank you. Thanks. Thanks. Have a good night, everyone. Bye, guys. Bye. Bye.